Hello, and I would like to welcome you to underscore underscore H number eight T E underscore underscore. Now, here's the best part about this player. You'll also notice they already have him on my blacklist. And if my player card will load, because unfortunately Gudgeon servers have been absolutely ass recently, you'll get to see. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, this player is oh, it looks you know it's a brand new player. It's actually not. It's a guy we've looked at before. Now, I'm going to keep targeting this guy until he's gone, because he deserves to be gone. If you want to go back and look at the record on my episode 96, it's a pretty similar record. That's because it's the same player. This is a guy that we looked at named K4HVH, and he did change his name to Yes Man OK, change squadrons, and then change his name again, and then change squadrons again. Now, this is the problem I have with Gaijin's reporting system. When a player changes their name, as far as I know, the reports don't work anymore, or they're reset, because Gaijin doesn't know how to properly track players or keep a proper API of the player names that they've used, because there is no past player. So the only way I can keep track of these guys is to add them to my blacklist so that I can keep track of them as they go forward. I'm going to keep going after this guy because he deserves it. He also has a YouTube channel. I don't really like to witch hunt people in some regards because of what it is. But this is a guy that claims to be really good and either has gotten botted YouTube views or his channel got found out from either a Reddit thread or whatever and the video that I reported on originally got like 40 some thousand views and then he bragged about it on his channel saying thanks for the amount of views he was getting. Um, I'm not going to openly say his name on here. If you would like me to put it in the comments after a couple of days, I will. Um, but it's a channel that I find is kind of hilarious because he openly brags about being really good and about how great certain vehicles are OP without the fact that he openly cheats in them. Um, he, the best part about this is after he changed his name, he went and played Air Realistic for basically two weeks because um, he wanted to obviously get a lot of attention off of his you know, character. But he can't resist clearly going back to cheating because he's just doing this shit again. So I'm going to keep reporting on him because he deserves it and he wants to be bragging little shit and try to be a CC, I'm assuming, at one point. And you know what? You're just going to get my full attention as usual because you clearly freaking deserve it. So I'm going to keep reporting on it and I'm going to keep having fun basically, you know, going after your account because you clearly don't deserve it. Now, in a lot of cases, what I'm assuming is this player actually probably uses his own cheat, I'm assuming, because he does actually do some programming, it looks like. So it might be his own, but it might be also a Chinese one. In any regard, it's still blatant cheating, because <laughs> that's all they freaking can do. So I would implore you to, once again, report this player's account, and we'll see if he changes his name again, because I love that this guy is actually trying to dodge. He claims it wasn't an issue, claims to brag about his account, and then proceeds to, you know, do this and track a guy through everything. Yeah, so as always, <laughs> I hope you have a good rest of your morning, day, evening, or night. And if you want me to report on this guy, I will. I will mention his YouTube and go after it that way. Because, like I said, cheaters do not deserve to play this game any more than we do. As always, I hope you have a good rest of your morning, day, evening, or night, and have a good one.